we're at a very uh, interesting point in history. Five years of digitization happened in four months. We've managed to persevere through COVID-19 thanks to the ubiquity and resilience of our 4G networks. But as technologies like digitization, constant online connectivity and real-time data analytics take hold and increasingly become part of our day-to-day, -day, we're going to start to see a new set of use cases for 5G emerge that will launch a new era of innovation. The role of 5G in addressing digital divide is very important. 5G is one which can provide fiber-like capacities in rural areas. So it will be a very important part to play in terms of bridging the digital divide in the advanced economies, but also in the developing world. If you have connectivity, you can have access to telemedicine in a rural area. You can have augmented reality so people can learn things while sitting in a remote area. Broadband is becoming a right, so therefore it's like electricity, so you have a right to a broadband connection. We think in terms of the economic recovery that there really has to be a partnership between governments, the private sector and civil society. We saw a lot of standard setting in the early years of mobile telecommunications. So this creates certainty for businesses and also consumers, and that's something that we did for 4G and that we need to do as well for 5G. The technology industry has long recognised that, has worked very actively and closely together. Huawei has played a big part in setting global standards where we've got this coming together of really powerful technologies that opens up the possibility of smart cities, self-driving vehicles, etc., smart manufacturing. But also, of course, there's been lots of discussion about automation, task-specific artificial intelligence, machine learning. A very strong bet for the future looks to be to invest in the digital infrastructure because the digital economy, no doubt, is going to play an increasingly important role in our domestic economies, but also in our global economy.